Big turn up. So, um,
Love it. Thank you. Our job is just to make sure that the system is up. I hope you don't need a doctor's appointment anytime soon. We obviously think no problem. Have you got any children? Yes, I do. Do you think you live here? With me, yeah, just after. Are you Do you have a three year old and a five year old? You obviously don't. Told they're all out what? Walk around town freely, they're right. Walk around town freely, you know. Do you have vulnerable children? No, you do not. Do you have vulnerable children? No, you do not. Now leave. 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 Now we! So oh, he's just missing. I think if he's not going to miss it, it's just trying to appear in front of him. How many can we put you down, Sean? Of course they would. Rich people to give him money away. Turkey's voting for this. They won't do it. I think he's just getting flustered in our next cross. And you can take two seekers in. How about that? Guys, can I just ask you, what about these guys? They haven't got the capacity to look after 300 men in this town. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't got the power. These guys, these are good guys, and they haven't got the power to look after 300 men who are in trouble. I have a child. Who's going to protect her? Four officers with 300 men. Because they see women and children very, very differently. And what happens when someone like this goes missing? Then will you change your mind? Ben, you have children. Changed. You have children living with you. Yes. I'll take those in, and you take two of those men in. How about that? I have offered to take them in and be refused because I was living alone. No, I don't believe that. If you're living so with those children living you, in your bedroom. Well, you, so you are supporting it then? Supporting what? Having asylum seekers? <laughs> I would like to see both asylum seekers and other people who need accommodation Families being given different. accommodation. Families why why, yes. why are, are we living in a country where some people can have six or seven houses and other people are living in shop doorways? Is that the fault of asylum seekers? Our own. Of course it's not. Well, well, rich friend of us telling us to hate each other, and I'm telling us to hate rich people. What about the veterans that fight? It's not about money. It's not I spent 18 years working with the army in Germany. Working with them, do you want to help them off the street? Yes. You're not making a point. You're causing a scene. Just I every am. No, I couldn't care I less about that. I hope nothing happens that to your children, famous. and I hope nothing happens to a police officer. You might that's on your back. You might bear you in are mind such that a that loser. needs my permission. It's a great job. Why? Why? The big circles are doing this to make bloody millions of pounds all the time, and we're paying six million pounds a day to house people, the asylum seekers, in bloody hotels. And you're telling me that's right? Of course it's right. No, it's not. Yes, come on, ladies. Do whatever you want to do. We are just here for the security. Just, just make security sure. Security for what? 
just for the building. For illegals. I don't, we're not racist. We're happy to support no, no, any no. refugee. I don't care about that. But this is for that. illegals. I, I don't care about that. We are just here for the security. That's it. It's public it's, property. It's the University of Derby. Yeah, it is. It's public. So she's, she can stand there. She can stand over there. But she can also stand there. there. She can, no she can signs. stand over there. There's no signs telling me that it is a restricted zone. There is no sign. That's why they put the barriers over there. The barriers? Anyways, that's fine. Anything you say here, right, there's no fine. access. Circle Road, fine, this yeah. is public. This that's is public. Fine, <laughs> I think he's lying because it's just come up in the local news that the plans have been resubmitted again. So yeah, let's go and... Uh... When are the asylum seekers coming in? Covered his badge up. When are the asylum seekers coming in? Not sure, to be honest. But if you're on site now, guys, surely they're coming soon, aren't they? We, have, we are just here for the workers, security, that's it. What, what workers? They're just fixing the things inside. I don't know what's going on because it's been unmanned for like two, three years. It's been empty. Yeah. So we are here for the workers to sign and sign out. That's all. We don't care about the, the things that's going on. Do whatever you wanted to do, guys. All right. <laughs> it's none of our concern, to be honest. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. So here we are, guys. So yeah. this Don't just stand and go. Come over here. Bloody junior, hey guys, join your local books and things now. Hi, Grace. 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 Hi,
children. We, we don't see a lot of information on the mainstream news, and sometimes I find that to citizen reporters that are reporting this information. We've got 43, and that's evidence of 43 that will be convicted. And everywhere, everywhere is getting them. I'm absolutely surrounded in West Yorkshire. You know, the police are not going to be able to police it. Our GP surgeries are full, our hospitals are full. Have you, you heard know, the news today that they've withdrawn the application? Yeah, but then we've heard that they have actually uh, resubmitted it. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the, um, what do you say to the argument that it's empty and it could be used where instead of paying for hotels? What do you say But you know, that? this is what I would say. My banner says it all there, you know, how's our homeless first? I go out and I help the homeless, I don't have a lot to give, but I give my time. And these guys on the street, you know, they're never going to get up and get in the property. Because it's all these young, undocumented migrant men that come in, <laughs> and they all take TikTok to show us. You know, they're, they're, they're selling all these journeys over, and they're, they're, they're economic migrants. Sure you're on here. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. they're cultural yeah, like, flowers, you know, and we're frightened. Anybody here from Buxton? Well, talk to me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, 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 do you, what do you make of uh, what they were hoping to do here? And, and well, why you're to be fair with you, Paul, there's veterans sleeping on benches, looking at hotels, housing asylum seekers. How do you think they feel? They've been to fight for our country, and they're sleeping on a bench while we've got asylum seekers getting three meals a day in a hotel opposite their bench where they're sleeping without uh, without anything to eat and anything to drink. So there are already asylum seekers in Buxton being No, out. not in Buxton, in the whole country. The point the point I'm making is they fought for our country and these people are sat in hotels getting three meals a day. They're sleeping on the bench. They fought for our country and that is what we're against. Yeah. yeah well we we've got people in this town for that have got no accommodation i've got my son-in-law daughter three grandchildren they're just having to come out of their house now because of uh, rent increases and that and it's been offered to another family member they can't get any accommodation in buxton and they're struggling they're really worrying we're helping them out uh, uh, and like the people that they want to bring here are young men, 18 to 40, coming into our country and in, in the halls here apparently they were going to get uh, on-site doctors and nurses to care for them whereas in Buxton we have problems trying to see his own doctors we can't do it. Uh, uh, and these young men that are coming, I don't think that they should be here. They should be in their own country, fighting for their country to make their country a better place to live in. So you're not you're not happy that the, the applications have been withdrawn because you think it's going to come back? We've already heard that it's coming back. Uh, 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 and like... How they've managed to do it in the space of the time from when it was cancelled this morning to having re so reapplied it. Just wait for that. Just wait for that ambulance. Yeah. You're fighting the ambulance. Is there a name of your organisation? We don't have any organisations. We're just local concerned citizens. There's just so many up and yeah. down the country. Protest was there. Yeah, yeah. Where at the market? The market. Oh, up at the marketplace. Place, yeah, which. We yeah, they have a Facebook group with the locals. Yeah. Did Did you not see that earlier? There was hundreds and hundreds of them. Uh, I didn't know about that. No, sorry. I only found it on Facebook. Yeah. yeah. They just want their voices heard, yeah, don't yeah, you? Yeah. So, like I say, these young men that are coming should be back in their own country, fighting for their own country to make things better for themselves over there. Uh, to come here uh, uh, and like because it's not a secure unit this as soon as they arrive they're going to disappear and, uh, and then things like this are going to start happening yeah, yeah. Uh, which, which is happening all around the who's, country whose banner is that uh, uh, i don't know so we just, so we just left it, and it oh right okay we just found it above that 
Is it your banner? Can I ask yeah. you about it? That's what you want. Number six, I'll get it on. Sorry? Can I, can, I ask you, can I ask you about it on camera? No. You don't want to ask me? Right, okay. Fine. What about you, sir? Are you from, are you from Foxton? He's my brother. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why? I thought you were just stop oil for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I do think it's what, quite captured though. <laughs> what, what, you know, just stop the boats. Why, yeah. why do you feel... I'm, I'm, ju I'm just worried for, for my sister and kids their age because you at the end of the kids. day, yeah, at the end of the day, these people, they're not vetted. They're, they're coming over here, you don't know. You don't know the background, there's no background checks happening. So I just want to stand my ground and just say, you know, Buxton says no along with really, you know, it's, it's not just Buxton, it's happening, you know, all over the country. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I, I want to protect the sister, people with my sister's age, so I just, Buxton says no. I know the South East has got a lot of asylum seekers staying there in seaside hotels, I suppose. They might say, well, it's the, the rest of the country's got to sort of play its role in, in housing these people. Together. Everybody needs to stand together to just put a stance against um, what, what they believe in. It just, it should not go ahead. These people aren't vetted, they're not, there's just nothing to say. They, they could be anyone, they could be absolutely, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I, can I ask you something? Are you able to come step forward? That's just, it's your hair, you see, it's there. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you from Buxton? Yes. Uh, what, why are you so opposed to the halls being used for asylum seekers? Well, because we're a really small market town. The, the, the council are trying to, are apparently trying to boost it back as a tourist town that it's always been known as. And then all of a sudden, they're throwing up thousands and thousands of houses. There's no, there's no main infrastructure that's fit for the people that are already here. And, and this is just not acceptable in Sparta, a small country town. You know, if they want. I've got no problem with anybody coming into the country legally. Yeah, yeah. Legally. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go through the proper channels and we'll welcome you. Yeah. Come over uninvited, unvetted, and we will say no every time. Well every said. time. Okay, brilliant. Anybody else want to say anything? Can I just add yeah, yeah. yeah. This is my little girl. Yeah, are you she's... happy for her to be filmed? Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah. Um, and she's eight years old. And my concern is that these people coming to this country, not all of them, but some of them have different views on how to treat women and children, yes. as the evidence shows. Um, I don't want my child to be unsafe or to grow up in a neighbourhood oh where she God. feels that this yes, is um, acceptable. Uh, I don't want to have to have a go missing. We've been offered child locators. Never in my life have I ever been offered one of those. What's that? What's it's that a child mean? locator, so you would put this on your child's shoe or in their bag, and then you would have one. So if they go missing, she's also been given a panic alarm as well if anything happens. Um, again, just like to say, if they're coming in legally as families, that would be fine, but there's nearly 300 strong men coming in. We don't have the police force. Our police station shuts at, at 5 pm, our um, casualty shuts, I think, at 8 o'clock as well. We just don't have, we only, we're only 22,000 strong. We just don't have the infrastructure, we don't have the policing, we don't have the manpower. They're not families, they're not women, there's no children. These are 300 men who just have very different ideals than we do. Um, so for that, I'm supporting this group wholeheartedly just to protect our children. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome, thank you. What are you planning on doing now then? Uh, no, <laughs> these, these guys asked me if what, I come what, up what and will this be going protest down, with them. Well, we're, we're from Nottingham, actually, so we're, um, we cover Derby, you see, so we cover the university, but we don't really cover Buxton, but it will be going out in the, in the East Midlands. Um, I don't know where the North West tonight might take it, because you're, are you Buxton? Yeah. It's North West tonight here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So we're, we're out of our patch, in a way, really. There's a lot of people convicted there, and that was a real problem. And you can't say all paedophiles are no, a particular ethnicity, can you? You've got to be, you've got to be careful how you say. No, no, no. It. But the fact is, all the ones on there. No, no, I don't dispute that. Yeah, I don't dispute and I know probably you can't prove that. Just, it's, I mean, I'm just, I'm just thinking what the police might look at it and think. But we had to be at it, and we've had it outside court. We were just, we, we've just a refugee in Skegness has just just raped a, a young girl. We've just had um, one up in in Middlesbrough where. 
a refugee has just taken a picture of a 19 year old girl up that was intoxicated, took her down an alley. It shows just people are waking up today. A lot of people are still too frightened to come out and speak. But you know, we're peaceful. We're not, no, no. you know, we're not violent.